funny dance, man. Got a presentation for you that's going to wrap your head around whether or not the English language is a thing that all humans can comprehend or whether sin was really prevalent in the land. Reverend Eagle condemns man saying he was a victim of some humorous molestation. Now they even threw blood on his cross to get him to go away from the Lord's our God. Now illustration. And Reverend Eagle don't do this to convict you as if he's Satan. Reverend Eagle wants to let you know that everybody could elevate because Lord our God now is waiting. Trying to see who really going to come in the land and be transparent as a vessel. And say they want to serve the Lord our God, not beyond vain lip service and words. I'm Reverend Eagle condemns, man, I have to hit you with these illustrations. There's so many humans that get lost in this vacation. Living in freedom eternally or living in fear eternally, now, it's the choice we have. I'm Reverend Eagle condemns, man, giving you a spiritual battle. If you don't mind, now we rocked up in the Recticon of time, November 19th, now 2022 is the Reverend Eagle show. Reverend Eagle say now the humans thought they had more money than God, and that was the wrong way to go. And then we got the women in it, and all the saints down that probably be prostituting. But then Reverend Eagle condensed, man, met one of the best prostitutes. And made a fall in love with him overnight. It was a sick lexicon. And then she told Reverend Eagle some things that really wasn't right. Why they want to kill me? Why they want to rob me? And why they want me out the city? The things that they say they was going to do now wasn't going to be so pretty. I'm going to make you aware these demons really don't like you. Now your next move is on you. And I turned my life around so good. Now I'm looking brand new. There you go, baby. So, 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 so. So the eagles say he got a few motions he want to present to the sheep hood folk. He got some more motions he got to work on. But most notably now, we got a federal motion that's due by December 20, December 6th. Let's, let's allow that clarification to kick in. December 6th, 2022, where he got to show independent now to Judge James D. Peterson that his federal rights was violated and state actors was involved in this situation. So we got over 130-something police reports, and that's going to be Reverend, Reverend Eagle Condens, man, bread, and, 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 and what we mean by bread, he mean that's going to be his bread and butter, his peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And shout out to Mandela Barnes for trying to put the trick on the people, but trick no good. So the Reverend Eagle say he really got done wrong if we, if we look at this from a, a twofold measure, if you will, uh, a real, a real, a real, a real situation where somebody really been done wrong. Why? Why? Why did this happen? Is racism really running the land? Is 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 man gonna ever be transparent in the land? Is the Ku Klux Klan really running the land? Who running the land? I'm Reverend Eagle Condens, man. And then we had a lexicon where someone approached Reverend Eagle Condens, man, and said that she worked for law enforcement. Asked him, asked him on a date, but then that, that lexicon got wrapped in something where we forgot what happened. But Reverend Eagle Condens, man, is the king of capping. So, so, so you got to know what capping is. So Reverend Eagle, even when he was rich, he used to be rich, rich, rich. I mean super rich. And he would pull up in the most raggeliest cars. He'd do the most insane thing, like he's picking up trash off the ground. A lot of women probably thought Reverend Eagle Condens, man, had just went too far out there. And just was acting a little bit too goofy. Why is you cleaning up the, the street? Why is you doing this? Why is you doing that? And, and, and Reverend Eagle saying, baby, I'm kissing you. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't miss you because you ain't on the same wave I'm on. Lord, I got, and I said, serve the community now. And, and you, 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 your community service now, make it worthwhile. Teach them something they ain't seen before. Teach them like you, you a little child. But then teach them like a little child sometimes. So you're going to have to make it. Sure, you burp them down here, and you make sure their belly's full, and, and you give them enough food where it becomes sustenance. So Reverend Eagle saying now he met some angels, and he know a lot of gold diggers and 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 and, and the gold figures now, and, and a lot of people now try Reverend Eagle. So he come up with his number one plan: let me look like a bomb, let me look like 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 the lowest piece of shit in the land, let me look like the lame of all lames, let me look like the biggest goofy in the town. Because I don't need no gold diggers now. We call them groundhogs and, and, and got a ministry. So, 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 Reverend Eagle met quite a few people. Quite a few women has helped Reverend Eagle Condens man elevate to the level that he elevated. And also, all, all due respect now to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the beautiful angel. And you know.
know she's doing through tribulation, but she told Reverend Eagle Cadiz, man, so many secrets about the secrets. And that these secrets was bigger than secrets that we ever knew as secrets, but only the Lord our God knew these secrets. And when they was conveyed to Reverend Eagle Cadiz, man, now he tap danced in the wow, spiritual wow. romance, you understand, with the Lord our God. And we held hands, and, and, and my conviction now, now in, the, in the Lord's kingdom had to be truly not transparent because we knew a lot of people had Reverend Eagle Condense, man, now crossed out the, the, the loop. Like he was the dumbest person in the land. He was the biggest drug dealer in the land. He was always womanized and be a sex addict and have prostitutes coming over and just fighting with everybody and just being the most deplorable human being he could ever possibly be. So Reverend Eagle just took on a job as a landscape technician, took it from Mike Payne. He say, this is my job right now. I got a little bit more education than you. A lot of things in the kingdom ain't right, and I'm calling you on it. And if you want to go to court about it, then we can do that because I know I'm right and I know you're wrong. And that's what Reverend Eagle Condensed Man said through his school and through all the songs that he sing to try to edify life to the kingdom citizens who say that they want to be a part of the training and be confused such a why God ain't working for me. Well, God wants you to fight a battle you might not be ready for. Can you stand the rain? Can you stand the pain? And, and, and can, you, can you stand the aim? Are the demons now and they arrows because a lot of humans have tried to, to, to live this out. And then those who truly, truly feel it and truly get lost up in the lexicon of not knowing why God don't manifest for them in the way that they do, they probably want to try you to see if you're going to come back and prove fruit. And Reverend Eagle condemns man, I always come back to prove when he picked that Bible up and get to speaking. Asking the Lord our God to anoint his head so we can understand now the time, the, 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 the applicability, and, and the reason, the acapillity, the acapillity, the acapillity, the, the duplicacy of, of the situation. So Reverend Eagle Condense Man say he like to slow things down, speed things up as he try to give you education. But a lot of us still don't believe in Jesus because we just doing things that we know ain't right in the land. I'm Reverend Eagle Condense Man. I'm trying to hold your hand like the Lord our God is holding my hand. Thy voice is something you should hear if you got it by Ephesians 5. So Reverend Eagle said he created his own school, created his own lane, and now he's showing the people why the deeds, the thousands of those, and the days ain't lame, why the Holy Spirit is something you should aim to get, and why you should get in this heavenly mix. I'm Reverend Eagle condemns man, so what we saying, and shout out to Jim Hart. Now he letting Reverend Eagle condemns man shine on these rookies. He know, and I know the Lord our God going to bless us. See, he going to bless us because Jim cleaned the blood up. I suffered through it. So, so had I laid in the house and played, scared, and moved out of town, we don't know who would have cleaned the blood up. But Jim Mart, mighty, mighty soldier in the mighty name of Jesus. And we took his Bible down to the venue today, not to worship. You know, we took the Gideon Bible down. And we're going to read out the Gideon Bible. We're going to talk about that in Moral Woman. We're going to talk about Reverend Eagle Condense, man, manifesting greatness amongst the judges who have molested him. And we talking about circuit court commissioners, Clerk of court staff, Judge Wood staff, we talking about the regular curse because they so uneducated in the fact that when you deal with an indigent litigant, 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 indigent litigant, now you got to really microscopically scrutinize whether or not this person is legitimately poor. And a legitimately poor claim comes from a person saying that they get state funded, federally funded public assistance. And if they got it, 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 they could prove it. It, 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 and then they get food stamps so they get public aid. So when they get public aid, they have to be given equal access to the court or to be a violation of due process. And when the due process violations kick in, then a man really can't address his issues to the court, uh, which he say, now he's been done wrong in the land. And Reverend Eagles say he's been doing this for quite some time, but the humans just say he can't read it right. So now Reverend Eagle got a little time to just... Tuck you in tonight, Reverend Ego Condense, man. And Reverend Ego said, now let's not forget, Pilate, now Pilate did ask Jesus, was he the king of the Jews? Knowing that the Lord our God now was the king of the Jews. So Reverend Ego said, now, Giving Jim Art a good prayer, giving the police department a good prayer, giving everybody a good prayer because we all got to eat. Sometimes when we eat the word of God, it ain't nice, but then we grow from it. So, so, so that was that was strong to me. That he he really hit us. Now, now don't forget, Pilate asked Jesus, was he the king of the Jews? 
But God, in his magnificence, through manifesting that himself through that sweet, holy, and eternal, not virgin, we know of as Mary, manifested as Jesus. So he already knew who he gave the spirit to, who was going to be full of it, and who was going to cross him. But he just wanted to live it out. So see, it's to live out. It's to living it out, living, living it out, living it out by faith and not by vain confession. And Reverend Eagle don't do no vain confession, but he hold on to all the stories, major, minor, in the Bible applicable to his life. So, so a lot of people has crossed the eagle. A lot of people have manipulated the eagle. A lot of people have stolen from the eagle. A lot of people have overlooked the eagle. A lot of people have weaponized Reverend Eagle condensed man's past against him. And Reverend Eagle condensed man had to intensify the show because he has confidential audience members looking in, lawyers and things like that. So he got to speak as a lawyer today just to let the humans know that he know a little something about the know in the constitutional folds of life, the laws of nature, the laws of man, and the laws of God. And he hope that he don't lose you. But if he do, why don't you rewind this video a few more times so you can understand how to communicate with the, with the court system and you want to file a lawsuit, you want to file a small claims action, you want to file a state action over 10000 you want to file a federal lawsuit, you want to file for fee waiver transcripts, you want to get readdressed on traffic tickets, uh, disorderly conduct, loud noise ordinance, you want readdressed in this magnitude, then let's just take it all the way right here. Pilate asked Jesus, what is the king of the Jews? And that happened. And Reverend Eagle got charged with some cases in the city of Janesville, state of Wisconsin, United States of America. Now that happened. Did that really happen? But then we got something right here called a not guilty plea. Let's let's take a gander, if you will. Not guilty plea. Based on a not guilty plea, your case will be assigned to court official. If you wish to have a jury tell, you will have 10 days to post jury fees. If fees are not posted within the statutory time limits, your case will be scheduled for court or bench trial. So Reverend Eagle, right away, on every case he 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 filed, he checked that not guilty bar. He had ten days to pay the fee, so he put in. We just got a sample sheet right here. It's a, it's it's an exhibit, if you will. Uh, we got Exhibit 100. We got Exhibit 100 right here. And it's a Rock County petition for waiver of fees and costs. Affidavit of energy if you really poor. So, so, so Reverend Eagle say he got food stamps. And he's going to show you how to do it in two seconds now. You check the box right here if you get legal representation from a lawyer. And then it says... My financial situation has has or has not changed. So so at the last hearing, at the last hearing on 11 17, 2022, Judge Wood said the form does not have the has not box. We went back and forth about it on several occasions. He even threatened to, to, to put Reverend Eagle Condens man in contempt of court if he kept telling him that he was misreading the form. It was very disrespectful for a nigger of Reverend Eagle Condensed Man Caliber to, to, to try to correct the judge. But it's very appropriate right now to look and see that we got a Rock County Circuit Court form. It's a petition for waiver of fees, affidavit of indigency. And Reverend Eagle say he had checked the box, has not. But Judge John M. Wood says only say has. And Reverend Eagle was saying that he did not need to complete Section 2. And it says if you check the box, has, box, and such changes would make you ineligible for programs. If you apply today, you must complete Section 2. So we have a judge who is making humans complete Section 2 when, in fact, they have no statutory obligation and a judge has no authority to make a human uh, complete Section 2. But this is what happened in the record with Judge John M. Woods and not only that, we had Judge John M. Woods get the cases from Ju uh, Court Commissioner Myers and Court Commissioner Jack Hole. And when these cases happened, Mr. Stewart wrote in four or five page letters contesting he was not guilty to the charges. And he wanted to fee waived for the jury trial based on his 
petition for waiver affidavit of indigency, but somehow or another, the, the clerks of Judge, Judge Judge Woods, the clerks that work at the courthouse and the fine traffic division did not know the law applicable to a real indigent request. It was, it's not discretionary. So, so Judge John M. Woods also keeps saying that he has a discretionary right to review the form, but that is only to a certain capacity because if you really see somebody as poor, you can, cannot create a fake financial background for this human based on property he owned two years prior to the date that he was actually given court readdress, charged with charges. So it's a whole bunch of due process violations here, equal protection, cruel and unusual punishment, a whole bunch of things that happened. So Reverend Eagle had to put a brief together for the Court of Appeals, and he's still working on that. But let's just take a lexicon of looking at the 14-page motion he, he put together. It's, it's a motion... We got all the case numbers listed, people. It's 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 very it's very beautiful. Oh, it's very beautiful. The, the eagle don't play so so so. And we 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 ask in for jury trial transcripts. So so we we keep asking for the same transcripts, like and fee waivings. And the judge keeps telling Reverend Eagle Condiens man that he has to complete section two. Essentially, he sent in a form. You can look it up on CCAP. Essentially, he, he sent in a form that said he was getting food stamps, a public-funded, uh, state-funded program, public aid, essentially, and, and that's not enough for me. Well, that's enough for every other judge in a state and in a federal courthouse as a clerk, a clerk, judicial assistant, that when they see that paper and they see it sworn to under oath, now, under the United States of America, it, it, it's, it's sworn to, it's a test to, then that is enough for them. You don't, you don't need to fill out nothing else. But you have Judge James Woods and uh, Court Commissioner Hogue and, and Court Commissioner Stephen Myers that overlooked this, and on top of that, their clerks did as well. So you have Reverend Eagle Condens, man, with a little short, uh, beautiful, you know, illustration of what's going on. So we got... My name, you know that people. And 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 in district cases, we got the, the Rock County Circuit Court cases. It's 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 beautiful. It's beautiful. We gonna do a little ad no. And 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 what this is is a fee waiver request. So let's let's get it in. Let's 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 read it. I, I like to read. So when I put them words on paper, it hurt them. So 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 they thought I couldn't read. Thought I couldn't write. Thought I was a stupid nigga, a drug dealer, a worthless human being. And Reverend Eagle saying, I know a lot of angels looking in, and they love the eagle. So, 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 so that's, that, that's, that's not going to happen. You know, probably got my landlord looking in, seeing what's their what's they next move. Is they going to try to kill me? You know, he don't want to clean the blood up. So every day I pray for him. And when he got COVID, I prayed for it, did a show about it. And he did a, a expeditious recovery. Although he said he was struggling, he still took care of business like Reverend Eagle take care of business, like Trump take care of business, like everybody else that push for things, take care of business, when we got a lot of sidetracking and demonic activity that tells us now we misreading words on paper. So, so, Reverend Eagle Condiens, man, dear Rock County Clerk, Judge Woods, Traffic Clerk, Wisconsin Court of Appeals Clerk, please find and close for filing a notice of motion for indigent fee waiver requests, case transcripts, pre-trial, post-trial, moreover affidavit via memorandum and law supporting motions in conjunction with an affidavit of mailing documents, additionally supporting exhibits in lieu of the motion and the fee waiver request. The purpose of this letter is to give notice that the appellate defendant respectfully moves the clerk's offer to acknowledge his fee waiver request based on energy. His previously submitted and currently submitted fee waivers and statutory authority case laws applicable to Wisconsin statute 81429 RS follow C. Gerard versus Jackson County Circuit Court 155 Wisconsin 2nd 148 454 Northwest 2nd 792 1990. The Circuit Court Reporter, by way of Rock County Circuit Court, indicates a fee may not be waived for court production of transcripts. This mistaken belief that Rock County Circuit Court 
has is outside the statutory authority and relevant case laws applicable to Wisconsin Statute 814.29, Gerard versus Jackson County Circuit Court 155, Wisconsin 2nd, 148, 454, Northwest 2nd, 792, 1990. Furthermore, the court reporter has denied appellants equal treatment and equal access to the court. This has deprived the appellant and defendant access to a conduit for production of hearing transcripts for Wisconsin Court of Appeal cases to be reviewed. In the state of Wisconsin, an appellant now may initiate an appeal. See Wisconsin Statute 809.10. Thereafter, the appellant is tasked with the responsibility of providing the court transcripts. The court transcripts, because the circuit court reporter has not applied the indigent